Climate change. It's the environmental challenge of our time. As the world steps up commitments to live sustainably, nuclear technology has a significant role to play. It helps to mitigate greenhouse gas emissions, to monitor changes to the climate and the environment, and to adapt to a warming planet. Finland has a climate vision to slash carbon emissions by expanding clean energy. Nuclear power will ensure a steady stream of baseload electricity. Renewables, such as hydropower, will provide the rest. When it's extremely cold in Finland, there's no sun and there's hardly any wind, so we need some uh, base power production, like nuclear energy. Finland already gets a third of its electricity from nuclear power. On Olkiljoto Island, a new reactor will greatly expand that output. With that production, that will provide some 10% of the Finnish electricity consumption. Finland is also considering plans to build a second new reactor. The fact that nuclear energy production is carbon-free is, uh, is quite well accepted and understood in Finland. The country is also on track to run the world's first disposal facility for spent nuclear fuel. Officials say that's also strengthened public acceptance of the atom. If we want to reach the Paris Climate uh, agree Agreement goals, we have to take advantage of all low-carbon technologies. A changing climate means a changing ocean. In Cuba, scientists are using nuclear techniques to monitor the effects of climate change on marine ecosystems. One such effect is an increase in harmful algal blooms, which release toxins that damage sea life, make people sick and destroy livelihoods. El cambio climático y sobre todo el aumento de las temperaturas ha hecho que en los últimos años estos florecimientos hayan aumentado en duración, intensidad y frecuencia de aparición. Cigatera poisoning comes from eating fish contaminated with toxins from algal blooms. It's the most commonly reported seafood toxin disease worldwide. But thanks to a nuclear technique, scientists are now able to measure the toxins in seawater and fish. Es posible conocer, por ejemplo, cuáles son las especies más tóxicas, cuáles son las áreas más propensas a encontrar eh, a peces tóxicos, cuáles son áreas que son, eh, digamos, no tóxicas o, o menos tóxicas. That knowledge is helping to boost livelihoods and food security, and fishermen can better navigate the changing seas. Eh, nos ha dado un conocimiento más general de este tema porque es importantísimo. Somos como una comunidad que vivimos prácticamente del pescado. In Zimbabwe, nuclear techniques are helping a village to adapt to climate change, which has made droughts more frequent. When there is drought, actually there is uh, very little to feed the families and the parents have pressure to look for food leaving children with no basic uh, things like education. Chronic drought also meant families had no crops to sell. Without that income, many couldn't afford school fees. We had low, low attendance in schools. It was due to economic hardships. But now, this village is starting to thrive. Isotopic techniques determined the exact amount of water and fertilizer needed for crops. Using that data, a drip irrigation system was set up. It uses half as much water as before, but produces far more crop per drop. Six tons perfect in tomatoes. Yes, not true. Eighteen tons. With bigger harvests, families can start selling crops again, and they can afford to send their kids back to school. 
For last year, we had 895 learners in the school, but for this year, we now have 960 due to the introduction of the uh, drip irrigation. Really, I would like to say it was a blessing to the school. The realities of a warming planet are all around us. With nuclear science and technology, we can mitigate greenhouse gas emissions, monitor changes to the environment, and adapt with techniques such as climate-smart agriculture. These are just some of the many uses of nuclear technology that make up the IAEA's multifaceted approach to climate change. The environmental challenge of our time is here. With the power of the atom, we have the tools to help tackle it.